mustard herb chicken cutlets. When company's coming over and time is tight like it always is, mustard herb chicken cutlets are the way to go. I've got eight chicken cutlets. They actually started as four chicken breasts and I cut them in half through the middle. I seasoned them with salt and pepper and I've been browning them in some olive oil and butter. The first side's nice and golden. So I'm gonna let them cook on the second side and I'll chop up some garlic. Whenever I'm making weeknight meals involving chicken breasts, I often cut them in half like this and turn them into cutlets. They cook a lot faster, basically in half the time as a regular chicken breast. Okay, that garlic is chopped. Because these pieces are so thin, they really just take about three minutes per side for the chicken to get done. You can't do that with a regular chicken breast for sure. Now back to the garlic. I'm gonna save some of this for the garlic spinach, but I'll add some of it into this beautiful mixture oil and butter and chicken flavor, yum, yum. Now the reason this is great for company is that it has some white wine. I'm gonna add about a cup, and this is the perfect time to add it when the pan is full of all that flavor. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is already starting to bubble around the edges, so that'll be reduced in no time. While it does, I'm gonna get started on the garlicky spinach. I'm gonna add some olive oil to a pan, and this is kind of a high-sided pan because I'm gonna cook so much spinach. To the olive oil, I'll add the rest of the garlic that I chopped, and I'll let that start cooking. Okay, that's looking good. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to get all of this in the pan, oh my. This is baby spinach, and I love this dish because you can substitute whatever greens you like kale, Swiss chard, even collard greens would be good. All right, I'm gonna let this start to wilt, and I'm gonna go back to this glorious sauce. It's kind of thickened, and it smells so good. Now for the mustard, I'm gonna add two heaping tablespoons of Dijon. Any mustard works. You can do sort of a spicy mustard if you wanna kick things up a little bit. So I'll stir this in and kind of let it become one with the sauce. Alrighty, now for a little bit more liquid in the sauce, I'm gonna add about a cup of low sodium chicken broth. And then I'll season this with a little salt and pepper. And I'm gonna let this bubble up and I want it to get richer and richer. So a pat of butter will help that along. Okay, I'm gonna let the sauce cook in the skillet some more and I'm gonna check on my spinach, which is starting to wilt. Tongs are the best thing to use when you're trying to wilt a whole bunch of spinach. I kind of get what's on the bottom and pull it up and put it on top. And then it kind of starts to wilt the spinach from above too. Okay, back to the sauce. I've got parsley, chives, and dill. And I'm just gonna load this sauce with all this herbaliciousness. Do you make up words when you cook? Because I do. Okay, that looks fantastic. Now I'm gonna put the chicken back into the skillet so it can simmer in the sauce for just a bit. I like to do this because if any of the chicken is just barely undercooked, when it simmers in the sauce, it'll finish everything off. Okay, this is bubbling away. I'm gonna let the chicken sit and I'm gonna finish off this glorious garlicky spinach. Now I'm gonna cut a lemon in half. I like to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice over the spinach. It just kind of brightens it up, adds a little acid to the mix. And the spinach just needs a little bit of salt and pepper, and that is really it. And I'll give it a toss. Dinner's ready. I can't believe it. And I like to make a really nice, generous bed of the spinach. I see the chunks of garlic in there. And then the star of the show, the chicken, these are so small that two chicken cutlets is pretty much a serving. And I'll just kind of crisscross it. And then I have to get some of this glorious sauce and put it over the chicken. There's plenty of herbs in the sauce, but I'll just add a few more on top. Gorgeous and fast. Doesn't get any better than that. 